Hey y'all, what's up? I'm back with another video for you guys. And I'm super excited just because I don't know, like I'm excited. I always get excited to put out videos. Like probably because I don't post as often. So you know when I finally do decide to post, it's like lit. So first of all, y'all, do y'all like my hair? Or no? Or no? Got the sea, got my little wine cup. I'm filling it up some more. I'm trying to keep it cute on camera, okay? My wine glass usually be like up to here, okay? I need a full cup. <laughs> And I am drinking um, Stella Russell Black. This is one of my favorites. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to get in some more like different types of wine. Because I literally drink the same stuff. Moscato and Stella Russell. That's it. That's all. So yeah, y'all. Okay, let me tell y'all this really quick. This is not like a topic, but I don't know. It's like as I've gotten older, I literally do not like hard liquor anymore. Like I would rather not. And if I do, it's only on occasion. So if it's like if it's one of my friend's birthdays or like somebody celebrating an anniversary or, you know, just something really significant, then I'll do it. But other than that, I don't want to hard look good. No. I hate taking shots. I just went out with my homegirls this weekend. Baby, they want to take shots of uh, tequila. Now, that is my liquor of choice. If I'm going to drink, I'm definitely going to drink tequila. But give me a glass of wine and i'm okay give me a strawberry dagger give me a strawberry margarita you know keep it cute and i'm good i don't need all that extra stuff okay i really don't i just don't like it um it's nasty i don't know it's just like as i've gotten older it's all becoming so disgusting so yeah i'm trying to get a little bit more tipsy before we jump into these topics because y'all know how to do when you're more loose and lit it's like it's just lit you know it's lit Okay, y'all, so hopefully y'all are good, tipsy, or, you know, you get in there, whatever the case may be, because I definitely am. Y'all see I'm fanning myself. Y'all know when you get hot, that's when you start getting lit. That's when it's like, okay, girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, yeah, so let's just jump into these topics. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about is just having confidence in yourself as a woman. You know what I mean? Because it is hard. Uh, it's hard being a woman okay especially in today's society not to sound so cliche but y'all know how it's just so much pressure um on women's bodies nowadays like you just have to have like the perfect ratio of stomach and breasts and butt and thighs and you know you gotta just like be a certain way and i feel like a lot of us feel like you know what i gotta look like this or that's gonna you know mess with my self-esteem and at this point in my life i kind of just learned to accept the way that i am like girl i don't have the flattest stomach anymore um i used to i used to always be skinny i probably in high school i probably weighed 100 pounds soaking wet maybe like 109 maybe 110 and that was it you know what i mean and of course it's always bigger girls thicker girls and i'm like girl i just want to be thick like why am i skinny you know like what's going on and when i got to college i was skinny like I started gaining weight, but I still was small. Like, I wasn't big at all. I wasn't thick. I wasn't gross. I was just me. You know what I'm saying? I was just skinny. So, now that I'm in my, like, mid to late 20s, yeah. You know what I'm saying? The weight is starting to stick a little bit more. So, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. But, like, I used to look in the mirror like, oh, my God, I don't have the flattest stomach no more. Like, what I'm going to do? I don't want to wear crop tops. Like, I don't want to do that because my stomach is not what it used to be. And, you know, like I said, you get on the internet, all you see is flat stomachs. All you see is people that don't have stomachs, like, six packs. Like, that's all you see. You don't really see real bodies no more, like, real natural bodies. You get what I mean? So, I had to just learn how to just accept my body for what it is. And also understand that what you don't like about your body, you can always change it. You can always work out and do what you need to do. So, that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to start feeling sorry for myself. Because, for one, it is what it is. I'm going with this crop top. And for two, I can always just work out and... I'm sorry, I'm hot again. I can always just work out and change literally what I don't like about myself. You get what I mean? And honestly, it don't even be that deep. My stomach is really not that bad. It's a regular stomach that you got, girl. You know what I'm saying? You got a little, little pudge. You know what I'm saying? A little woo 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 little extra cushion for the pushing that's all it is and it's still beautiful and it's still amazing and you're still amazing you know what i mean that shouldn't define how you feel about yourself but i would be lying if i said you know some point in my life i didn't like question it or was like mm, that's not cute so i'm not about to be wearing no crop top because i just don't like how that look but like i said i just came to accept it you know what i mean it is what it is <laughs> and that's just that you know 
Um, so I feel like you just constantly have to look in the mirror and tell yourself that you're beautiful. You know what I mean? And one thing that you can do, a couple things that you can do to get comfortable with yourself is, girl, be naked. Look at yourself in the mirror naked and love who you are and be like, girl, I look good. I don't know what I be talking about. <laughs> I be tripping, but I look good. You get what I'm saying? Dance in the mirror if you need to. Shake love, ooh, 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 twerk in the mirror if you need to. Do all of that because it makes a difference. Like, talk to yourself nice. Don't be rude to yourself and be like, oh my God, you're so fat or, oh my God, this is so ugly. Or, I hate this about myself. Like, like, you can always change it and if you can't it is what it is embrace it that's how you were born that's what god saw fit to put on your body and it is what it is and whoever don't like it who gonna check you hmm who gonna check you nobody we always look in the mirror and like what we see if you don't change it in whatever way that you know resonates with you if that means getting your body done cool if that means going to the gym cool whatever it means to you you know what i mean so we are dealing with some of the same struggles, honestly. Um, we just go about doing it different ways. Some of us do things about it and some of us don't. We just complain about it and stick with it. But I'm here to tell y'all that it starts with you. It starts with how you speak to yourself, how you talk to yourself, how you view yourself. Like I said, look in the mirror and be like, girl, I look good. Those stretch marks, they look good. That little flab you got on your stomach, that look good. Them little rolls you got, that look good. Okay? It is what it is. Somebody gonna like it. And if they don't, it don't matter because that means you like it. But that don't mean that. But y'all get what I'm saying. You like it. So that's all that matters. They embrace what you have. Shake what your mama gave you. And love how the Lord made you. Period. Point blank. Another way to build your confidence is to dress nice. You know, look good. Feel good. When you go out, even when you're not going out, say you run into the grocery store. You still can look cute when you run into the grocery store. Period. When you go out with your friends or wherever you may go, look cute. All the time. Wherever you leave out the house, look cute. Look presentable. If that means putting on lip gloss and lashes, do that. If that means putting on a little foundation, do that. You know what I'm saying? Just feel yourself. Like, it doesn't matter. Whenever I get the t opportunity to go out these days, I'm dressing up. You don't even have to ask me, yes, I'm dressing up. Yes, I'm going to look cute. You know why? Because when you look good, you feel good. Period. Or is it when you feel good, you look good? No. It's when you look good, you feel good. Period. That's such a true statement. Because I used to, like... I just used to, like, go outside with a t-shirt on and some leggings, t-shirt and some sweats. It, and that's fine. Nothing's wrong with that. But I didn't used to, like, always do my hair or whatever. I just throw on the cap and go outside. Like, I wasn't really, like, always in a space where I was like, bro, I look good. Even though I'm just going to the grocery store. Start dressing up for yourself. I'm not saying go to the grocery store and sell those. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that at all. <laughs> I'm just saying a little cute. You know, you can have on a cute little two-piece set with cute gym shoes, sandals, sliding, and have your hair done all the time. Okay? That's just... Let me back up. That's just me, okay? I have, I, I would like to have my hair, you know, slayed just because that's a part of me taking pride in my appearance. That's a part of me looking good, period. Um, so, for you, if that's, you know, just having a ponytail or if you want to wear your scarf or a bonnet or a basketball cap, whatever have you want to do it, just make sure you feel good and you feel comfortable and you're like, I look good. Because I'm telling you, when you wake up and you start dressing up and showing up for yourself and smelling good, putting on lip gloss and just, you know, feeling yourself, you're going to be like, bro, can nobody tell me sh You know what I'm saying? It's going to start to show in how you feel about yourself and the way that you talk to yourself. I promise y'all, just the way you carry yourself is going to like, it's going to have you feeling yourself. Like, stop playing with me. You suck at I look good. You know what I'm saying? I look good. You can't tell me I don't because I do. And that's not even being cocky, but I just feel like you have to just feel yourself. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with hyping yourself up. Everybody do it. Well, at least everybody should. But it don't matter what everybody's doing as long as you doing it. It's going to make a difference in how you feel about yourself. Um, another thing you can do is like play music. Play music. Play music that make you feel like I'm going to pop my stuff real quick. I'm going to say what I got to say. For me, that's Megan Thee Stallion. Period. Good news. When I want to feel good, I feel like that because it literally puts me in a whole different mindset. Like, girl, stop playing with me. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we forget who we are. We forget. I was going to say we forget our work, but that too. You know what I'm saying? We forget those things. And then when you play certain music, you listen, you be like, girl, exactly. I forgot who I was playing with because it's me. Don't forget it. You know what I'm saying? Don't forget it. It's me. <laughs> And so, they always just kind of, like, put me back where I need to be, put me in the mind space where I need to be at. And I'm just like, what's up? What's good? You know what I'm saying? None of us wake up every single day feeling the most confident. None of us wake up every single day feeling the most prettiest. Like, that's just human nature. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we wake up like, girl, what the fuck going on today? <laughs> I'm not feeling it. But it's like that. So, don't feel bad if you have those days because we all do. Everybody has those days.
You get what I'm saying? Seriously, like real talk. Do those some of those things that I said, and I promise you that'll boost your um. Girl, stop saying metabolism. That'll boost your confidence. <laughs> All right. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about, y'all, was just cutting people off, letting go of toxic shit to become the woman that you need to be and to grow into the next phase and chapter of your life. Point blank. Period. Let me say y'all something. Cut off whoever you need to cut off to get to where you need to be, okay? So that you can align properly and so the universe and God and all that can send you who you need in your life to help you grow in the next phase of your life, okay? So forget about the history. Forget about how somebody made you feel at the time being. Forget about how long you've known somebody. It does not matter. If someone is not benefiting you or they're not giving you the energy that you're giving them or they're just not pouring into you how, you know, you pour into them, or it's just like, you feel like, I, I, I'm i drained. Like, what are you giving me? Cut the ass off. Point blank, period. There's nothing wrong with cutting people off. I had to learn that myself. Like, I always used to try to save relationships and just try to save face. Like, you know what? Well, I'm not going to say always because I'm a very nonchalant person. So, let me like, let me, let me me not say that. Um, But I used to always, like, try to give people, like, so many chances and just, like, try to rekindle things and just you know just try to hold on to stuff that i knew that i needed to let go like i knew that i needed to let certain people go but i was just like no maybe they'll change you know i don't know like, i don't want to do that at this point in my life if you gotta go you gotta go if god says you gotta go you gotta go and i'm not gonna second guess it i'm not gonna question it i'm not gonna do nothing because you just have to go it is what it is like god will talk to you you know what i'm saying you will start seeing signs you'll just know honestly like this is not good for me this is not i don't need to be around you it is what it is cut toxic people off because let me tell y'all you just gonna be in the constant cycle of toxic 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 you saying oh i want to grow i want to change i want to become a woman i want to be a better person i want to do this i want to do that but you still hold on to the same toxic people you're not going to get anywhere. You're going to just keep going in circles. I promise y'all, take it from me. I would not tell y'all nothing that I've never been through personally. You're going to keep experiencing the same things with the same people. It's just going to get to a point where you're going to wake up one day and be like, what am I doing? You know what I'm saying? You're going to be like, I can't do this no more. I have to let it go. Like, God's going to keep sending you these things. You're going to learn. You're going to learn. You're going to learn the hard way. Because God's going to send you a red flag. You're going to... Mm, nah, that one for me. Gonna send you another one. Mm, nah, you know what I'm saying? So it's gonna keep being the same process until you learn and you figure out, like, I gotta let this shit go because it's not serving me. It's not serving me. And, and have you ever noticed that when you let certain people go, you let certain situations go in your life, you start to elevate? Hmm? Did you notice that? Did you notice that when you let certain people go, life gets a little bit better? Those blessings start coming in a little bit more, a little bit stronger. You start manifesting stuff a little quicker. Like, it's just like, damn. <laughs> it's really like, I feel good. Like, you feel like a weight is lifted off your shoulders. That's because those people in your life were toxic. And you had to let them go. And in order for you to receive what it is that you need to receive from God, from the universe, from spirits, whoever it is that you believe in, you have to let people go. You have to let go and you have to let God because... You literally will not move to the next level in life until you remove what needs to be removed out of your life and who needs to be removed out of your life. Period. Point blank. There's no way of getting around it, getting over it, going under it, on top of it. You can't fly across it. You can't run through it. You can't do nothing. You can't do anything. And I'm not saying that cutting people off is an easy task because sometimes it's not depending on how attached you are. But that goes to platonic relationships. That goes to people that you talking to or you want to be with or you dating, whatever the case may be. You have to let it go. And it's not an easy process. I don't know. You know, sometimes people make it seem like, oh, it's so easy to cut people off. It's like, girl, what? On to the next. Like, sometimes it's not, though, because you build these um, relationships with people and you feel like, oh, this is going to last. And sometimes it hurts your feelings. Like, damn, I really got to let you go. I really thought you was going to be able to stick around and be in my life. But you can. And sometimes that is hurtful. If you say it's not, you lying. <laughs> you say it's not, you lying. Or, you know what I'm saying, uh, the relationship wasn't as strong as maybe you thought it was. Because sometimes it's hurtful, friends too. Like, it's never an easy thing to let people go. And that's fine. Some people are just not for you. And sometimes you're just not for people. Like, <laughs> it is what it is. It's nothing that you could do. All you can do really is accept it and move on from it. And it is what it is. Honestly, like, that's just what it is. You know, it's no point of trying to force what doesn't fit. Trying to make something work. And it's not supposed to work.
that's just the reality of it. So I, I'm here to tell y'all, cut people off. You don't have to be rude and disrespectful. You don't have to like make a scene. You don't got to like try to like gloat about it or brag about it. Literally, I can't do it. It's deterring me from the path that I'm supposed to be on. So I can't do it. You know what I mean? You know when you just can't do it and people are not for you because it just doesn't work. No matter what you do, it's not going to work or it's gonna, always going to be something. Um, or if your intuition is strong like mine, you'll just know. Like I promise y'all, I be knowing stuff be a problem before it even comes out because I can just feel it. I'm very, very big on energy. Like I promise I know when shit is off. Like I know I can just tell. Like, mm, this probably not going to last. It's the problem. It's the issue. Energy speaks. So, yeah, y'all, I hope that y'all enjoy my topics and my opinions on this video. You don't have to agree with anything I say in this video or you can agree with everything I say in this video. doesn't matter. This is my opinion. If you feel the same way, great. If you don't, great. If you're feeling different, great. I mean, we're all humans. We are entitled to that, so that's cool. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Definitely leave y'all, you know, thoughts down below or chime in on anything y'all felt like, girl, okay? Or anything you felt like, girl, no, I disagree. Just don't be disrespectful because I don't play that. <laughs> just don't be disrespectful because I don't play that. We can have disagreements though. It's life. It's part of who we are. You know what I'm saying? We don't all have the same opinions at all whatsoever. And I can honestly respect that. Period. So let's go ahead and drink the rest of our drink. Okay? Y'all ready? Okay. Y'all think I can do this?